crossing in and then what the fuck <laughs> what was that look at it one more time Hertha's player Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to a new Bayer Leverkusen episode. As you can see, we are still seven points behind Borussia Dortmund, and also Royce is in first place for the top scoring list. But guys, if you need some ultimate team coins, go ahead and check out the link in the description below and use the code Johnny at checkout. But as you can see, our topic is Levin Kurzawa. You all voted in the last episode and most of you guys said go ahead and sell him because he doesn't grow anymore. Alex Tejas is the first candidate. The second one is Janet Erkin from Fenerbahce. Yes, my team. He's an insane player. He has some great stats for defending and also attacking. Alexandro is the third one that you guys suggested the most. So these are the ones that I really saw in the comments. Thank you, assistant coaches, so much for going ahead and suggesting some players. To be honest, I've seen a lot of other players being suggested, but I didn't want to go after them because they were like two mainstream players like Rodriguez from Wolfsburg. Everyone gets him, so I didn't want to go ahead and get him. But what we get is a penalty. Right off the bat, in the third minute, we get a penalty and Hakan Chalanola is going to be scoring it or not. <laughs> He's not going to score it. Miserable miss by him. The goalkeeper didn't even have to do anything, but of course it was my my fault I am pick I am taking the penalty and that one was just too bad and we were still going ahead and Hakan wanted to redeem himself with an amazing long shot but that one is going over the crossbar right here Kramer is fighting for the ball heading it to Vilalba and he scores but it's an offside I can tell you that so we were pretty unlucky at the start of this game in the first half we had many chances but still we were not able to go ahead and score so it was finally time Vilalba now with the cross inside to Son a great header by him, but that one goes wide. Now Gladbach on the attack with Kruse. Kruse, and then it lands by Berg, who scored two goals against us in the last season. But they had a big chance. They miss it, and it is now our turn. Bellarabi chops inside once again. Gets past the defender with the pace, and then he scores. The pace, the pace. That one helped him out a lot. Getting past that last defender. And also that was the first goal of Belarabi in this Bundesliga season. So I'm very happy to see that finally happen. We are nearly in January. So it was time for him to show up. Vilalba to Drimic who got into the game as a substitute. Pass it back to Vilalba and he's not going to be missing it. Vilalba is playing because MNEK is injured at the moment. But Vilalba is doing a great job. 90th minute. Gladbach has a chance to go ahead and get one goal. But the game ends 2-0 for Bayer Leverkusen. We are getting those three points. Very important point. And we are now again four points behind Borussia. They are still not losing any games. And also guys, this is very surprising. Mandanda is now 86 rated. I told you guys that goalkeepers would grow a lot more than you expect them to. And he's 30 years old and grew by plus 3. So I still have hope in Mandanda. Maybe he will turn out to be an amazing goalkeeper in the end. But I'm very happy so far with his growth. We are playing 2-0 against Hoffenheim. Because I wanted to go ahead and get MNEK back into the team. He is now back from his injury and our next match is in the Champions League against FC Porto who are in the bottom of our group but that doesn't mean anything because Porto is a great attacking team and they have a lot of players that I would be interested in in another career mode because as you can see they have an amazing player like Brahimi I really love that guy in uh, the World Cup and also they have Quaresma an amazing player that has been a legend for a long time because of his skills but we are starting off this game with Sun having the biggest chance going ahead and missing it but he is angry he wants that goal Jung Min Sun with the shot once again but that one is going to be hitting the side net and then Brahimi I told you guys, Brahimi is a great player and he scored an amazing goal due to my fucking horrible defending. But Chalanolu, Belarabi, Vilalba, that is going to be the response of Bayer Leverkusen. 
immediate answer from Villalba. 1-1 it is. We have equalized and we are now looking to go ahead and get the second goal instead of Porto getting the second one. Bender right here with a big mistake. Adrian! That's, uh, yeah, they answer it right away. So it is now 2-1 for Porto and Shalanolu is now getting past one defender. The second one. And then he will score right before halftime. It is 2 2. What an amazing game so far. And what a nice goal from Chalanolu. Getting past two defenders and then finishing it with a great shot. And we were trying to go ahead and win this game, of course. Villalba with some good agility. But that shot goes wide. Now in the 65th minute, Quintiero with a shot. But that one hits the post. And Mandanda is very happy to not concede another goal. It is 2-2 in the end. And we are getting that one point. Hopefully we'll still be in first place. I don't know yet. Let's see, boys. But before that, guys, we have gotten 10 million for reaching the next round of the Champions League. And also, Werner is sending a message to us saying that he's not happy with his role. He would like to have a couple of more matches in a starting 11. We will see what we can do about that. But the Champions League group is ending like this. It is by Leverkusen in first place. Atletico Madrid right on the same point as we have. But they do have four goals less than us. So we are in first place and we are going to be getting the easier opponent hopefully but as you can see guys this is the champion uh, not the champions league the league table the bundesliga league table Borussia Dortmund four points in front of us still they have won their game and we will have to go ahead and win against Schalke Schalke is a very tough team to play against I never do well against them in my opinion they are one of the best teams in the Bundesliga in FIFA I'm not talking about reality but we are getting lucky once again. We get a penalty and this time it was MNEK. I tried to go ahead and score the simple penalty twice today and it just didn't work. But it's my fault. Yes, I know. I need to practice my penalties. Blah, blah, blah. It's okay, guys. But yeah, we have lost that big opportunity to go ahead and score. And it was Fabian Scher with the free kick. Yes, Hakan Chalanolu was not playing because of stamina issues. Scher... Good free kick, but still not the best. I think Hakan would have maybe scored that one. But it is now Schalke on the attack with Chupa Moting, who is a great player in real life as well. He is doing an amazing job for Schalke. But Bender had a good shot in the 36th minute for Bayer Leverkusen. And I just tried to go ahead and defend after that because Schalke was just too strong. 55th minute, they had a big shot on target. Then it was the corner kick. How it is, or who it is, better said, uh, with the pass to Schmiedebach. Schmiedebach now looking for Neustädter. Neustädter with a shot, and it lands right in front of Chupomoting. Eric Maxim Chupomoting. Fucking hell, man. I just said you're a good player. Why do you go ahead and score against me? That is not nice of you, mate. But it is still Schalke attacking, attacking, attacking. Huntelaar with the shot and Mandanda trying to get to it. In the end, he didn't have to do that. But it is Hyung Min San, Chalanolu and Bahluli joining into the game to change something. 90th minute. It is Schalke on the attack. Last attack from Bayer Leverkusen. But the referee ends the game. And this is our first loss in the Bundesliga. After 17 games, we have gotten our first loss. I would have loved to go through the season unbeaten, but it had to happen at some time. And now the league just got more interesting. Borussia Dortmund in front of us, but Bayern is now in second place with the same amount of points, but still they do have more goals. And after that loss, I was pissed. I just wanted to go ahead and sim a few games. We have won against uh, Fafel Bochum, and also we have won in the cup against Union Berlin, who are in the second league as far as I know and yeah we have done a horrible job in the game against Schalke should have scored the penalty and should have scored uh, with a normal attack but I just wasn't getting any chances against them and this is my question of the day guys tell me in the poll below which of these left backs you would like to see in my team I truly personally love Teles, Erkin and Sandro so I'm not going to be saying anything but guys go ahead and vote and also smash the like button thank you guys so much for watching have a nice day and peace boys